I think the key question for this story should be whether or not Apple can actually manage to mass produce these screens so it will be commercially viable. Yeah, that's a good question. If you're if you're talking about Apple doing the mass production, mass manufacturing itself, yes, they could absolutely pull it off. They have the resources, the people, the expertise, uh, the supply chain, Maestro and Tim Cook, uh, and the money, of course, nearly a trillion dollar company to do it. But to your point, will they do it? No, it's unlikely that they're going to want to take on the responsibility of doing its own mass manufacturing. Because when you mass manufacture, there are so many potential snafus, screens, things that don't work out that they're going to have to you know, write off. They don't want to be part of that. That's why they have their network of suppliers and manufacturing partners in Asia. So what they're doing is they're doing their own small scale manufacturing for the first time of displays at a facility in Santa Clara, California near their campus. But ultimately, in the long term, it's highly likely that they will work with another manufacturing partner like Foxconn, as they do today, to actually produce these in hundreds of millions of quantities per year. Now, what would it mean for the Samsung Electronics relationship? Because that's a $3.4 billion relationship right now, Mark. Yeah, you know, the Apple-Samsung story has always been so interesting. Samsung, as we know, a huge conglomerate, has different divisions. They have their electronics division, their mobile division, which sells the Galaxy phones. But they also have this SDI company, which makes displays. And their biggest customer, like you said, is Apple. The iPhone 10. some people uh, might not know this, you know, the iPhone 10 in your pocket actually has a Samsung-designed display. It's a Samsung screen inside an iPhone 10. It's now ironic because Apple and Samsung, it's such a rivalry. Samsung is Apple's biggest competitor in the mobile space. Basically, you can't really think of any other phone maker besides Apple and Samsung in the U.S. or in other parts of the world at this point. They've been in trial so many times. So what Apple wants to do, no matter its different divisions in the South Korean company, they want to reduce the reliance as much as possible on Samsung. You've seen them move away from Samsung processors, the chips that power iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches, to custom Apple-designed chips. Screens, that's another big component. So that's going to be one of the other things on the table as they're as our story uh, indicates today.